the San Diego Padres have reportedly found their new pitching coach, and that is Ruben Niebla. Now, if you have no idea who Niebla is or where he comes from, well, neither did I, but I'm about to let you know everything you need to know about this guy and why he's going to be a great pick for the Padres. Well, Niebla did play parts of six minor league seasons with both the Montreal Expos and the Dodgers, but after those couple years, he did go straight to coaching and became a coach in the Indians organization where he started in about 2001, and after a couple years, settled into a pitching coordinator position where he stayed for quite a while before getting promoted to the big leagues and becoming the assistant pitching coach back in 2017. Now, if you know anything about the Cleveland Indians over the past five or so years, it's that their pitching staff is always top of the MLB. No matter who they have, no matter who they lose, they always find some stud young pitcher to replace them. They brought up pitchers like Trevor Bauer, Shane Bieber, Mike Clevenger, Zach Plesak. They're just bringing up a bunch of studs out of nowhere. And in the middle of all these success stories is Ruben Niebla. Now, how much of an impact does a single pitching coach actually have on Major League Pitching? Well, pitchers such as Mike Clevenger, Corey Kluber, and as recent as Zach Polisak have all credited their success to what Niebla has taught them in the minor leagues. And not only in the minors, when they get to the majors and Niebla moved up with them, he was part of their continued success. So the Indians really have a good guy here who is just their assistant pitching coach. And he's really had a lot of success over there with Cleveland. They've even kind of said that he's some kind of pitching whisperer and, you know, everybody that he touches over there just turns into a stud pitcher. But Niebla is from Colecto, California, which is obviously right outside of San Diego. So moving up to a spot where he is the head guy and also in his hometown seems like a no-brainer no matter how much success he's had in Cleveland. Now this isn't the first time that Niebla has been a candidate for the head pitching coach spot for a team. I guess over the years when the Indians have been flipping pitching coaches, he was always in consideration but was just never given the job. And most recently, he was one of the finalists for the Texas Rangers pitching coach spot before he was passed up in the 2019 season. But seeing how the parties have been so behind the eight ball in the analytics department and how Niebla just thrives in that supposedly, then this seems like the perfect fit and exactly what the Padres need at this time. Especially considering guys like Paddock, Gore, and Weathers who all took a little bit of a step back this last year but had that huge upside potential, these guys could possibly thrive next season with the help of Niebla. Now this is kind of an awkward situation because obviously the Padres do not have a manager at this point. And it has been said that Preller has kind of internally said that the next manager will have more of a say on who he brings in for his coaching staff. But when a guy like this becomes available or says that he wants to come to San Diego, you don't miss on this kind of impact coach. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. And for any more Padres related news or just anything in general exciting that happens in baseball, make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss anything else. And we'll see you next time. Go Padres. Nah, 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 nah.